Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 22 of the Crowdsource Challenge. Or today, uh, we have a plan. I have a plan for once. What a miracle. As you can see, I'm just, I'm just coming back from the shop, which is where the seeds were. Throw back to yesterday's video where I mentioned that all the seeds are now in the cedar here. Um, I'm, just, uh, I'm just back from the shop. And uh, today's plan involves getting out of the tractor, apparently. Still getting out of the tractor. Why are you getting out of the tractor? Oh, you don't have GPS, do you? Right, I'm gonna cheat in 15 grand. For the simple reason that this John Deere needs GPS. Like, that, that is the sole reason that I've just cheated in 15,000. Um, because like, it looks weird with the green star. I guess I have turned around and going in this direction because I've realised it's probably going to be easier to just go to the, uh, the workshop. But it, it, it feels weird having, like, the green star mount but no green star on this. Um... Also, my plans all revolve around GPS now, so deal with it. Customize uh, GPS, yes. I'm not going to change anything else. Literally just attaching a green star to the top. See, now it looks like it's complete again. It looked a bit weird without the green star, without the globe. Now it looks... it looks legit again. Also, props to Giants for actually modelling the uh, the holster for the Green Star. Despite the fact that it, it is never, ever... Like, there's no way, base game, to take the holster... or take the Green Star globe off. So let's get an AB line down here. That should be a good B point. And we're going to go into the auto with here. I'm going to create it. Oh, okay. Um, field 18, Cedotron 9000. Create the track. Save the track. Okay. That's kind of cool the way that works. That was. Uh, <laughs> because I every time somebody dis something disconnects, I always get c questions what disconnected. That was my stream deck, and usually is my stream deck. That was my stream deck disconnecting again. It does that sometimes. Just deal with it. Um, so we are putting canola here, and the reason for that is I kind of you can see the foreshadowing in yesterday's video. Now, if you want to rewatch that, I said I'm fine with spamming canola because that can be used for the pigs. But no, the reason that I'm doing canola here on this field is number one, we're going to get a butt-ton of it. Number two, if I grow wheat or barley here, I'll be really tempted to bale it again, and I just don't want that many bales. <laughs> um, so this is very likely to, in the future, be a cornfield. And just be kind of a general use field. I will eventually grow wheat or barley in here, just when I want uh, excessive amounts of wheat and or barley. Uh, this field has not been fertilized at all. This is at zero percent fertilization, so I will need to do two passes of fertilizer, two passes of fertilizer on it. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned yesterday, this is literally all the seeds we have. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna get all the fields seeded with this. The, field, the, the two fields that need seeding. I don't know if we're going to get them both seeded with this. It's going to be, I think, fairly close. But I'm I'm not hopeful. Um, and the question for me is really, will I be able to get the fields seeded? Also, by the way, yeah, I noticed it's 2.24pm in-game. Um, the plan is to... 
zip time forward with crop growth turned off um, for like the night time because I don't want to do like a nighttime video because it looks terrible on YouTube and it's not down to that's not down to farm sim that's 100% not the game not OBS not anything uh, what it is something it's YouTube um, because what happens is YouTube compression hates dark colors and you might notice that in farm sim it gets particularly dark when it's dark at night um, and with YouTube not liking darkness in general, uh, Metro 2033 was another victim of this. Um, actually, most like most dark-themed games have this problem where they just look horrifically bad on YouTube because YouTube doesn't YouTube compression just for some reason if something's dark, it just makes it black, um, and it looks terrible. Um, so that if you if you ever wondered why you see so few farms and videos at night and if there are, there are videos at night there's a hilarious number of floodlights around um, that's why it's because <laughs> nighttime on YouTube looks terrible it just it, it just doesn't do the game justice at all and I don't feel like it it's a fair thing to do to the game to make it like be a, a nighttime thing uh, or do any videos at nighttime so if ever you wondered, or you pondered that question of like, why does Dave never play farm sim at night in game, or why does Landy never do it, or why does I don't know if Daggerwin does it. I presume he doesn't. I presume Simulate doesn't either. It's it's just a thing that we all kind of know how YouTube works in terms of like the uh, I don't want to say the back end, but the way that it makes videos look, and we all kind of know that dark things are not appreciated um, at all um, so we, we just avoid night because YouTube makes it look really bad which sucks because I think nighttime looks really good in game I really do and it kinda sucks that YouTube does that um, so there, there's the answer to a question that nobody was asking it's also why um, you might remember I said there was one rule that was time limited uh, for like crop sales and I said I might have to tweak or I think it was an, uh, milk I'm gonna make that rule into milk sales actually There's, like milk sales have to be done between like seven or five and eight in the morning and I, I've said quite openly I might have to change that depending on light in game for YouTube that's the reason why it's YouTube compression and YouTube in general just doesn't like dark things annoyingly um, I mean, if I had a choice, I would totally do, like, a, a harvest of, like, you know, the grain's grown and it's dry, so let's harvest into the night and all that kind of stuff and have some really cool visuals, but YouTube doesn't like that. I might still do that in another series, though. Like, that, that would be really cool of just, like... Watching the combine go around at night on course play or something. That is an idea. Um, that I just had that somebody's bound to steal before I get around to doing it. Uh, but just just remember, I got there first. <laughs> but the, the seeds are going down quite slowly in this. We might actually get this field done at the very least. I don't know about doing field 19 after this, but we might get this field done at the very least. Um, it is still concerning though that the we just we just don't have enough money <laughs> plain and simple I'm gonna have to pull out a loan to get more seeds this you know this I am 90% sure unless by some miracle there's a great demand which by the way I know I keep joking about it I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna force one. Um, on like the only time that I'll force one is if one of the silos actually fills up and they hold seven hundred thousand liters. So that's incredibly unlikely. Um, or if like I'm doing a mass record and I, I really, 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 really need to just have something else to do. I guess um, it, it's gonna be a last resort thing. 
as a bit of a clear out method. But I'm not I'm not gonna just go, I want to sell the oats now or I need money, let's great demand. You you're gonna have to roll with the honor system on this. I do know, however, that if this is going solely by what happened when I was testing the 100 roosters idea, because uh, I did fast forward a few days, if the game is consistent with ha when great demands happen, there should be one within the next in-game day. Um, if memory serves and I was doing it during the rooster test, it was for wool. And then there was one for, like, sunflowers or something. Um, but if the game is consistent to generating great demands, which I think it is, uh, there should be one for probably wool within the next couple of days, or next in-game day, or so. And you'll know that I've not generated myself, because I don't have any wool or sheep. So that would be a completely useless great demand for me. Just sending me messages on Discord. Some people are sending me messages on Discord. I don't appreciate this. Um. <laughs> anyway. That was just me checking my phone, which I really need to charge. So, once I'm done with this video, my phone's getting put on to, put on to charge. Uh, the reason that I'm not good gonna do a mid-video is because uh, it kind of annoys my computer when I do it because I use the USB port to charge my phone and it does weird things. <laughs> Usually it gets quite angry when I try it. So plans for the next... I don't want to say the next video specifically but like the next little while. Um, the grass need uh, the hay needs to be moved. Um, that is probably going to be like a priority job. This field needs to be finished. Field nineteen also needs to be seeded. Uh, this field needs to be fertilized twice. Um, field nineteen needs the slurry finishing. This field will need harvesting eventually. Um, field fifteen, I do want to fertilize. I might crack out the slurry spreader in there as well. Um, this field, however, I feel is too big for slurry spreader. I'm just going to use, like, the sprayer. Um, and Landy, Landy's been campaigning for me to get the the um, the Pantera spreader, sprayer, I think it is. The, the big one that was released on the model recently. I personally don't see the point. Um, I would much prefer to get, if I were to get a self-propelled sprayer, I, I'd get the Stara because that can do spray and solid fertilizer. And I feel like that would be a be much better option for um, what I'm doing on this map specifically. Because I do want, you know, I'm trying to mix kind of all the different kinds of fertilizer at the same time. Um, as opposed to... You know, some people just go, I'm going to use only solid fertilizer. And there we go, it's all solid fertilizer. I want to use a bit of everything. Um, I even plan, or hope, to do some manure, which is why I'm keeping it and, not, and trying not to sell it. Uh, ooh, that's a thing I could do. Ooh. I could. Um, and this is an idea solely because it'd be convenient. Um... And I probably should do this. I sh could slash should move the manure from the pigs down to the cows. Um, for no reason other than it would be highly convenient just to have the manure all in one space, all in one place. Uh, and if I do that on the regular, I do that reasonably regularly. Not necessarily like every time manure generates, I bring it down to the cows. But every so often, like, I will clean up the pig pit and just make it into a big pile, but every so often I'm gonna probably get, like, a, a, a trailer specifically to do this. And if I did, what trailer would it be? This is things that I'm now thinking about. Probably, like, the Stroutman. Do I have any better trailers that, like, suit that more? The brown, I feel, is too good. 
The Stroutman is probably going to be the best. The TD, the farm, no, it'll be the Stroutman to be the best for it, I think. And how much would that cost for, like, maximum capacity? 12 grand? 12,000? Why did that just pop up minus 15,000 new vehicles? Did that wake out a bit? Did I accidentally just buy the trailer? I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. I didn't accidentally just buy the trailer, did I? No, I'm not seeing it there, so I'm presuming I didn't. Um, you might notice as well that I don't have a manure spreader. That's actually kind of fine right now. That's not in the immediate plans, because I'm going to need to get like a, a reasonably beefy one. Um, so me not having one right now isn't a big deal. Uh, mainly because we just don't have enough... That'd be something to store in the sheds, wouldn't it? Instead of storing it over the cows. That'd be a good idea for the fourth slot in the shed, because I do plan... I know I said that I want to have, like... Somewhere to store the pallets and stuff. But I tend to go through them fairly quickly. Plus... I'd have the smaller shed open again for like whatever I wanted. Would that be a good a good place to store? That would be a really good place to store the, like the big bags and the pallets. Actually, Dave, well done. Yeah. So if I store them in Europe with the bales, <laughs> which maybe isn't the best thing in terms of health and safety um, or animal welfare, but that's the thing you can do in France. If I store them in Europe by <laughs> the bales, um, in the the double shed that has quadruple openings. That's probably gonna be what I. That's probably gonna be like a really good idea. Because then, like, it's all stored. The pits are. Uh, well, the manure pit of the cows is no theoretical limit on what I can put into it. But it is slightly out of the way. But so are the sheds. This is something I'm clearly going to have to think over more. Because I think it's a good idea, I just don't know how it's going to work. Like, in actuality. Also, for those of you that always, always, always complain that I seed first, or uh, maybe not necessarily complain, but get a bit miffed that I seed first and then come back and do the head... Or, I seed the headlands first? There we go, that's what I was trying to say. Um, the headlands are clear right now, I'm seeding the headlands last. Because that's what you do in real life, isn't it, seedy boys? See? I'm doing a I'm doing a good farming today. I'm trying to consider what I want to do next in terms of like fields and equipment as well. Which is kinda of pointless because there's like <laughs> there's no money. There's a actually negative money because I have a loan out. Um And the loan rule is intentionally so that I don't just finance the farm exclusively through a 300,000 euro loan. Um, <laughs> which I would totally do, by the way. I'd just buy, take a loan, just fund the farm, get lots of big equipment, and then be like, Hey, I've got big equipment now. Don't you also have a 300,000 euro loan? No, never mind the loan. That is magic money that never has to get paid back. No, I want to. Like, I don't want to be reliant on the loan to be getting anywhere. Um, right now I am, but that's because great demands are being mean to me and not popping. And um, I really feel. I, f I feel like we almost need to get more cows, more chickens, more pig. I probably should give the chickens what? Do the chickens require water? This is something that I haven't thought of. Do the chickens need water? <laughs> no, they just need wheat and barley. They've produced four litres of eggs. The two... The two roosters aren't reproducing at all somehow. I'm also curious, after the hundred rooster... experiment, what happens if you have no roosters? Do, like, or man... Like, a hundred roosters and a hundred chickens? Does that, like, increase the reproduction rate or something? Things what I think about. 
Um, but with the chickens magically reproducing, and I kind there's a part of me that hopes some of them produce like roosters, um, or just like a random colored chicken. But, uh, with the chickens producing more chickens, that's actually good because it means I'll get eggs faster, <laughs> and they take like no food, so that's even better. Like seventy-five odd chickens only took seven thousand liters. That's basically nothing. Um, the next. Don't I want to. I think. I think I need to start on sheep fairly soon. Um, and I know there's a rule that says minimum twenty-five sheep, and normally I'd wait until the rule pops, but I'm probably going to get twenty-five sheep and just automatically implement the rule. Um, so if you've got a rule about animals, once I hit that number of animals, the, your rule will automatically be implemented. Um, so, I, th I think that's, like, as fair a way as any of doing it, is like, if you guys want to suggest, like, rules that mean I have to have even more cows, or even more pigs, or even more chickens, uh, there's a rule for 100 chickens, I've not quite got to that, but... You know, it is there. Um, and Hayden, don't say a thousand chickens. Um, but if... If you guys want to, like, expand the animal rules that are currently there, I have no problem with that. Um, and you, you can, like, phrase it as, like, expand to X number of cows. Um, or expand to X number of pigs, or you must now own X number of whatever. Um, I'd actually be fine with those rules coming in, because, like, it'd be a financial pain and I'd have to pull out a loan again, but it would probably pay for itself over time. These are the ways that I'm thinking now, is like, it, you know, I'm, I'm noticing the wheels getting a tad bit empty, um, and the video view's been down, but I think that's mainly because YouTube's been terrible at notifications recently. Um, but I think it'll be kind of cool if you guys, like, took the rules that are already there and maybe expanded on some of them. I have no problem on that. Um, especially, like, the animal rules in, sp in particular, I think, are, like, they do have room to be expanded. As much as I said no evil rules, like, I'll make... If you suggest a completely even number, I'm not going to use it. Like, oh, you must expand to 17,000 cows. That's not something I'll do. Or 1,000 is probably not something I'll do. 50 probably is. 100, not right now, but maybe if I had much bigger equipment. Like, if I was in end game equipment kind of territory with a Fent Ideal, or, well, an Agco Ideal, then I'd possibly consider that. Especially if I owned most of the map. Um. Because, kind of the aims here are to get the ideal, to get... I'm thinking... Um, like, in-game tractor is going to be the MT-900, just for comedy's sake. Um, and possibly a quad track. I'm actually going to say, the quad track is probably the better option, even though it's an older model. Um, like, it's literally an older, <laughs> older in-game model than the... Uh, the Challenger, I think they're still using the F the old old base for it. Um, but I, I think that'd be a cool way to expand, is like, get up to a combine. Might not necessarily be the ideal, but... You know, the 1090, or... Uh, what are the big combines? This shows you how much I use them. You know, the S790, the Axial Flow, the CR1090, or the ideal. Like, one of these four is going to be the end game tractor. Um, and I know this is the, I think this is the US style, this is European style, this is European style, and this is European style. So, it would probably actually be the ideal just for the biggest grain tank. Um, but that's kind of where, where my end game plan is. And like a bigger cedar is obviously, um, 
in terms of cedar, uh, I'd be looking into, like, this is the one we have now, the Pronto 9. I'd be looking into kind of the Solitaire 12 or the the Condor, which I haven't really used since FS13. Um, cultivators, it would basically be the, the big old Descaro here, the, the Gigant. Um, planters, what is the biggest planter like? Come to think of it. The Valerstad Tempo with 12 meters. I don't want to go for the Great Plains because that's more American style. Uh, also holds less than the Tempo, so I'd probably go with the Tempo. <laughs> um, also, question out of curiosity. Would the likes of the FH2200, like the, this, the front box of this, could that feed seeds into like the Horse Maestro? Or the Tempo All-16. Because that would be hilarious, having a 2200 litre box on the front of a 7000 litre cedar that's 12 metres. Yeah, that'd be that'd be comical. Um, these, these are the weird things that I think about. Um, somebody questioned, like, why did I... I did see this. Why, why a thousand roost... why a hundred roosters? Why did you even think of that? It's... Just one of those things that, to me, is a completely logical question to ask. Because... It's like one of those things where you're like... Well, the chickens work a specific way. Do the roosters follow the same rules, or do they have, like, independent rules, even though they fall under chickens? Um... This is, this is genuinely the way that I think. It's like, do the roosters have the same rules, or different rules, or... Are there rules? Um... It's like me with the, uh, like, talking about the grass, like, are there rules to how grass works? To, like, somebody asked this in Giants Discord, and I have no idea, like, does plowing the grass help? Um, plowing it under and, like, reseeding the grass, does that improve yield? Does putting lime down on the grass improve yield? Fertilizer definitely does, that one I can vouch for. But what about lime and, and weed? Um, I don't think weeds can grow in grass because they're actually kind of useful. Like, they wouldn't reduce the yield, so giants have just turned off weeds for grass. Um, but, like, those are questions that I just ask myself. It's like, is this kind of a useful thing or is it not? Or, like, how, how, how do these work? Because while I do tend to break a lot of stuff, uh, some of it intentionally, some of it not so intentionally, um, while breaking stuff, I tend to find out game mechanics. <laughs> like, I tend to find, whether intentional or not, like, weird little triggers or weird little tricks that uh, maybe a lot of people don't know, or, like, a bug that isn't really known about. Like, uh, in FS17, I'll say it now. In FS17, there was, um, I think it was a bug. <laughs> Where, uh, and I don't know if it's been fixed, so it might still be a thing, but please, if you're on a server, don't use this to grief. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm talking about this just because it was funny in 17 and actually vaguely useful at times. There was a bug where, um... If you ran over... Covered silage... Um, like chaff that was fermenting, fermenting silage... With... Uh, it had to be in a bunker. Fermenting silage in a bunker. With... The silage blades, um, it would just straight up delete the silage that was there. Uh, for whatever reason, it just. The game didn't know what to do, so it just kind of wigged out and deleted the silage that was there, so. It was very odd, but it was a thing that happened. Um. And obviously you've got the, the idiot roller being able to delete silage, which is very useful on server, on, like, when bunkers glitch and do weird things. Um, but that is about all the time we have for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. As always, leave your uh, comments, rules, suggestions, and uh, complaints about me being an idiot somehow for a new reason, probably, that I didn't even know about. Uh, down in the comment section below and of course if you do enjoy it and uh, if you did enjoy this video and you're new and you want to See more from me you can subscribe hit the notification bell and join the discord which is down in the description Which I don't promote nearly as much as I should 
but there is a Discord and I tend to put random emojis in uh, quite a lot and annoy people in general. But until next time, stay safe and goodbye.